Well, hey everybody, it's Paul. Welcome to my channel. It's been, it seems like it's been forever since I've made a video. It's probably been about a week or 10 days or something. And I apologize for that. I love making videos. It's just sometimes when you're on the road and really busy, it is just hard. Yeah, I hate to not give it my full attention. So I thought I'd just get back and then kind of do it. So what have I been doing? Been down in Virginia. You know, we were taking a load in our trailer back and forth. This time spent about a week down there looking for a place. For some people that may be new to the channel, I bought a lot on Smith Mountain Lake and I'm going to build on it. But in the meantime, you know, building a house takes at least, say, a year. And I need to do some prep on the lot beforehand. So it's like one year is probably going to turn into two before it's all said and done maybe a best case 18 months or something but anyways so I thought I would go down there and scout out a place to rent well the way housing is right now there is no place to rent I want to get down there because Ben um, he has some classes that he needs to attend he's attending virtually right now school in Virginia but he has some classes in the fall that he has to attend in person and um, want to get our residency established as soon as we can and all those good things so i was hoping to get a place i thought it'd be relatively easy well it's not so then my attention turned to buying a used home just a, a cheapo home i'll call it the cheap home to differentiate from the new home will be the one i intend to build right so i was going to buy a cheap home well i'll show you I went in a bunch of homes. I won't show them all, but for example, this one that I'll show it was listing at like 350, but they said you know they get over the asking price, and it's not lakefront. It has a view of the lake. <laughs> if you kind of stand on the back deck and stretch your neck, um, they wanted. You know, they wanted 350 they figured it'd go 380 to 390 something like that. And the things sell like in a day or two, so you literally have to be down there and ready to buy right then and there. Some people even are buying without um, doing an inspection and all this crazy stuff. And it is just not my style to get into a bidding war or be rushed. So, uh, just buying used from what I could look at, and I've been watching them for like a month, and I went through quite a few of them when we're down here. It is just not the, not the way to go for me. It's just not going to work. So, I guess I have to do it. What I never thought I would do would be to buy a new home in the subdivision that they are building in between it's about midway between where my property is and where ben goes to school those two points are about an hour apart say and this subdivision that they have already established but they're adding new houses into is about midway between those two so it's a 30 minute drive to a property 30 minute drive to a school so that's okay and um, at least there'll be a new house. Of course, it's what they call a spec house. So they, you know, they don't do it to the best. Uh, I mean, everything meets code, of course, but it's not going to be any extras. Or if you do get any extras, you're going to pay for them, that type of thing. But it's it'll be okay. It'll be a place that I hope that I can... Um, sell quickly when the time comes hopefully not get hurt too bad i was figuring even if i break even on the price i'll still save like 30 grand in rent or something over the course of say two years so uh, so that's that's what it looks like it's going to be as of right now but i can say the weather was awesome the trees are all blooming the flowers are coming up blooming in Michigan. It is just miserable. As quick as the windshield wiper hits it, it comes right back. 
really raining hard. You can see the temp there, 46 degrees. Going to be 21 over the weekend for a low. Yuck. 21, that is just too cold for this time of year. Not nearly as pretty as in Virginia. So anyways, guys, I appreciate you still stopping by. I hope to be back making content like I enjoy doing so much. And I appreciate all those that stop by and spend a few minutes with the old guys. So until next time, which will not be so long, I can promise you that we'll see you.